Pokemon have released a new trailer for Pokemon Horizons, the new animated series, and it features a shiny terrestrialized Rayquaza. We only see a quick shot of it. All we can really tell is that it's shiny, it's got like crystal patterns over it, and the Terror Raid battle theme is playing in the background, or at least an orchestral rendition of it. So I think it is pretty safe to assume that is a terrestrialized shiny Rayquaza. There have been a lot of people theorizing that perhaps there could be a seven star Rayquaza raid planned to coincide with this animated series. And I wanted to go over what, you know, that could look like. Obviously the biggest question is what's its terror type gonna be? And at least with the previous seven star raids, it seems like there's a few rules that you have to loosely follow. And you know, I might be quite wrong on these. We've only had, uh, I think five seven star raids so far. So I could easily be wrong, but I still think it's best to try to follow these rules. First, the terror type has to make thematic sense and it has to make sense in terms of type matchups. For example, Charizard is meant to be a dragon, so the dragon terror type works. Also, one of dragon's weaknesses is ice, but that weakness is covered by its original fire typing. I also don't want to reuse any terror types that have already been used in seven star raids, so I can't use dragon or flying or fighting or anything like that. Lastly, Rayquaza has to have access to some sort of an attacking move that is the same type as whatever its terror type is going to be. And with all of that out of the way, I think I have three pretty likely candidates for what this seven star raid could hypothetically look like. All of these builds I've put together all have the same first two moves because obviously the seven star raid needs a strong stab dragon attack and a strong stab flying attack. I think the most likely combination would be dragon pulse and dragon ascent. I mean dragon pulse has been used before by the seven star Charizard and dragon ascent is obviously linked to Rayquaza. It's the move you needed to learn before you could mega evolve it in Auras. But some other candidates could be Draco Meteor and Hurricane. All of these builds also have dragon dance and tailwind as two of Rayquaza's four additional moves. The first terror type we're going to talk about is electric. Now, I think this makes thematic sense because, you know, Rayquaza flies in the sky. There's thunder up there. Rayquaza would then obviously need a strong stab attack for its new electric type, and Thunderbolt is probably quite likely for this, but thunder is also an option too. Rayquaza could also run Rain Dance as one of its four additional moves to make thunder, you know, always hit. And as for any coverage, Rayquaza can run Surf, Ice Beam, or Energy Ball. All of these are pretty strong attacks that can deal with ground types quite effectively. Believe it or not though, this electric terror type Rayquaza would have a weakness in Iron Hands. None of these moves can hit Iron Hands for super effective damage, which would probably allow it to set up a belly drum. And then also it can learn Earthquake, so it can really go into town. Rayquaza obviously has 150 base attack and special attack, so it's possible that Rayquaza would still be out damaging Iron Hands here. The next terror type I wanted to discuss was the dark terror type actually. And I know this sounds a bit strange, but just try to bear with me here. So the color used for the dark type is black, right? And the background for a dark type terror raid is like black and red. Well, those are also the exact same colors as shiny Rayquaza. So, you know, there is a link there, maybe. I mean, it also has access to Crunch, a pretty decently strong dark type attack. The dark type is weak to fighting and bug, which it can counter with Dragon Ascend or Hurricane. The dark type is also weak to fairy, which it can counter with its attack Iron Head. Also talking about shiny Pokemon, I just wanted to say that we just opened the Pukumania Discord server. It's a really great place, you know, to just discuss Pokemon. There's forum where you can discuss trade requests, forums where you can talk about terror raids, organize terror raids, but also to celebrate the opening, we're giving away a shiny Rowlet. So if you want a chance to get a free shiny Rowlet, you can join the Discord, there'll be a link in the description. Go to the giveaway channel and that's all you need to do. But also while you're there, you can have a look around, you know, engage with the community a bit. The last terror type I want to discuss is the rock terror type. And I think this probably makes the most sense of the three. Rayquaza eats meteorites. I don't know why he does, but he does, he eats meteorites. It's a fact about Rayquaza. And you know, there's the iconic scene in Mega Ruby now for Sapphire where you go into space, fight Deoxys, a bunch of meteorites. That is probably one of the most iconic moments with Rayquaza in any of the games. And so I think the rock terror type could really, you know, help reconnect that memory, especially since it was almost 10 years ago. But also in terms of type matchups, I mean, rock is weak to fighting type attacks, but Rayquaza's flying type attacks can deal with fighting types, as we said earlier. Rock is also weak to ground, which can be countered with surf, energy ball, or ice beam. Rock is weak to water, which can be countered 
by Energy Ball. Rock is also weak to Grass, which can be countered by Flamethrower. Also, Rayquaza can learn Sandstorm. And if it's terrestrialized into the Rock type, it uses Sandstorm. Its special defense gets a 50% boost, which is huge for Rayquaza because its base special defense is already 90 on top of 105 base HP. This would probably make it incredibly difficult to take care of, and I think it'd be a really, really interesting 7-star raid. If there's anything really blatantly obvious you think I've missed, feel free to let me know in the comments. I'll, I'll probably read all of them. But also, I'll be discussing this a bit in the Discord server. If you want to talk about it some more, like I said, there is a link in the description you could join if you want to.